IG Bush, man. We've been breaking down this film for about an hour on my page. We about to break down the second half of this film. And we Let's talked go. about this off screen, man. Uh, the Patriots had answers before the Browns could answer the other question, right? Like they was out here changing it. You know, it's like the Roddy P Piper, right? Just when you think you know the answers, I changed the questions. <laughs> yeah, like, nah, bro. what they did to the Browns. Man, they they was they was out here cooking, man. Like it's different. Like this is why I think it's important to always go over this film work because you know it's easy to sit at the house talking about oh I know what's happening or it's easy to be like oh it's just all on one person or nah man you got to really go back and look at this tape and really diagnose and go p position by position and really break this down because this is where you find. What is wrong with us? This is where you find that, not about opining about stuff, whether or not it is true or fact. And we know one thing ain't wrong with this team. Malik McDowell, he's all right. <laughs> Malik McDowell out here balling. I mean, I don't know what he's great with a bad club. I hope he doesn't disappoint me in part two of this. <laughs> part one, I was like, you know what, Malik, even when they, even when it's supposed to be your fault, it really wasn't your fault. No, all man. right. You were doing your thing. <laughs> So, you know, you look at it, you moving across the line of scrimmage, and I think they do a really good job of making you declare, right? They want a clean look. Okay, let's move our guy in motion. Are they going to be in man? Are they going to be in zone? They move him across. The, the people don't move. So they're thinking right now it's man-to-man -man coverage across the board, cover one. Um, and you got everybody in bump and run coverage, even on the slot right here. Let's play a little man. And, and it's called let's see who's a little better. So, um, go ahead and roll it and see what we got. <laughs> they just went better. <laughs> oh, man. man. <laughs> um, first of all, when, you know, the Browns had pretty much declared, hey, this is man-to-man -man coverage. We're going to see who's the best right here. So let's take a look at what he does right now. Mac Jones is looking to the bottom of the field already. You know, he had already diagnosed his man coverage. He knew he was throwing the fade route immediately. Um, and especially being on the on the right hash, throwing to the field, it gives him a little bit of opportunity to put that football to the sideline where only his receiver can make a play on the ball. It's and it's ball. just a beautiful throw. Beautiful ball, man. Good ball. Good ball. By the way, the Browns are hell-bent not to get beat on the quick slant again. <laughs> they, they, they were dedicated to not. Because look at all they did here. On this quick slant, they put Miles out. They 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 shifted both the linebackers out. Ronnie's playing linebacker on this play with uh, oh yeah walk. They they are like we are not getting beat on the quick slant inside. I don't care where it comes from. It's not killing us. We're not letting it happen. And it wouldn't. Like I, I love I see. Here's the thing. I love this play because what they did is in in this play they come with the, they come with the corner blitz right. And so what they're doing is they bring the corner blitz, but then they drop the backside defensive end. And so basically they're trying to bait him into throwing that slant that they got beat on earlier, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. This but is, they this. the 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 the, 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 the Patriots have the better the best play call because the corner doesn't even get a chance to sniff the quarterback because it's a three step fade and he finds his guy and he gets a step on him. So I mean this is just a really good play call. I don't know who's which receiver is down there. I'm at the bottom of the screen. Is that Denzel Ward that, that's covering? Let me see. That looked that like, look like Denzel. That's Greg. That's Greg. Okay, Greg Newsom, right? And so he's even playing, if you can tell, he's playing inside leverage on this, right? He easily has inside leverage. So my thing is, if you Greg, if you Greg Newsom, you know that you have a robber technique in, in Miles Garrett drop it in the coverage on that side. And you also have a safety that look like they're just standing there being able to, to make a play on that. You can't give him outside release like that, especially not getting any hands on him because now you, you already know where he's going to be going, right? You're supposed to be actually mirroring him. And here, what you do is he, he doesn't get any hands on him. He gets no hands on him. Free release. Yeah. He gets, he wants to get that outside. And to be honest with you, he didn't really even get that much depth in his first step. And he does a good job of having some closing speed and contesting his throw. Um, but when you look at it from this point, it's just that's a perfect football, right? 
And so that, that's one of those plays we talk about that as a quarterback, you have to hit these because when you hit this one, everything else opens up, right? Mm-hmm. So now the Browns come out and be there. <laughs> they come out and they, they stop the slant. The first, they give up the slant for the first down. Now they say, we're not going to give you the slant. We're going to make you throw a deep ball. We're going to make you throw a low percentage fade. They hit both of them. So now the third one, what are you going to run? Like, what do you, what, what's the tendency? You don't know what the tendency is. They can run anything. So just when you think you have the answers, which the Browns are like, ah, we got you if you're doing that, they change the questions, right? That's what it was. That's just Bill Belichick being a, being smarter than Joe Woods and everybody else on the Browns coaching staff. It happens. It happens. It, it it was it was a good call. It was a it was a good call, man. So that was that was that was read one. There was no hesitation from Mac Jones. Like he he gets that ball. He doesn't look anywhere else. He knows that's it. He got a uh, Josh McDaniels in the headset. Two step mm-hmm. throw that thing. Like that's all he's saying. Two step throw it. You got the look. You got it right. He's saying he, he that put a booth. He put you a lot of touch on it too. Take it. Take it. Put a lot of touch on him. That's just a rookie. Uh, and he got turned around a little bit to line the scrimmage, and you'll probably see it a little better when we go to the to the end zone view. Um, Newsom got turned around a little bit on this one too. Um, he has really good closing speed, and he has the ability to make a lot of stuff closer than what you would think it is. Because right here, he in his back pedal, he stumbles a little bit because the receiver did what we call closing the gap. So he he closed the gap. What, what the receiver wants to do is he wants to get off the line of scrimmage and he actually wants to step on his toes. So mm-hmm. stepping on his toes means up oh, right right there. That's if you toe. even take it. You're done. At that point he's doing what we call get on top. And get on top is get the leverage, right? They're even right here. Look at that. Even Newsom is even. But he gets on top right there and do you see how the great part about this is Matt Jones throws it to a place where he can run to get the football, right? You see how this football is not thrown upfield. It's thrown to the hang. Outfield. He doesn't have to stop, turn around to get to it. Nuh-uh. It just drops on it, it, He dropped it right in the bucket right here. And there's, there's no, no indication for Greg Newsom to get his head around. None. Like, this, and- these, are, these are great throws because it's like Greg can only be wrong at this point, right? Either he gets real aggressive for this ball and gets a pass interference, or this. And, 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 and right. And watch that. Look, look, look and see. They teach you as a receiver. Watch how he, he doesn't put his hands up until the last moment. A good defensive back, what they'll do is in this position, they can, there's no way that you can see the football, right? So one of the things that you're looking for as, as sort of a landmark is, when the receiver puts his hands up, you put your hands up, right? And he watch how he only puts his hands up right when the football is at his latest point. He's just now putting his hands up right there. The ball is at his helmet. And, he's and, 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 and so Newsom has no, no recognition of where the ball is. That's good coaching. Um, and first down, man. First down. Hey. Look, I know when people saw that they were upset Miles was in coverage, that was the right thing to do considering what had killed them all game was them inside slants and them screens to Miles. Okay, cool. We gonna got we got an answer for both of them in this play. The Browns have an answer for both of them, right? They see that trips on the left side. They're like, you're not about to screen us on that side and you're not about to quick slant us, right? That is what they don't want to have. We just seen on my video where they just killed them with that. So that's what the Browns are like. All right, you ain't getting that. That's the adjustment. Yep, yep. He he changes the questions. Boom. And this is deep one. He, he it would have been an adjustment that would have worked against most coaches, but not Bill Belichick. <laughs> Sometimes good. Pl- you got to salute the other team on that one. Yeah, that's a salute right there. All so, right. So, G, are you ready to see the first third down stop of the game? Let's do it, man. <laughs> Finally, I mean, we've been we didn't been cutting up film for dang near an hour. We ain't seen a stop yet. All right, man. We we ready. This is the first. By the way, this is uh after the third touchdown, so they already got twenty one to set. <laughs> and they would have got it if he would have caught it, <laughs> bro. If he catches that, he would have did the exact same thing. No, it was there. <laughs> 
this is this is rough, man. So what happens here is I think he uh I think he just like flicks this into the ground by accident, right? Like that's what happens. Now, credit to uh, was that Miles? Mm-hmm. Miles and is that oh Malik Jackson. They that get pressure enough to force this back right. throw. But boy, if he caught that. Like he called it because they don't know he doesn't have this. You know, <laughs> there's a couple of backside guys that are trying to hustle there. I, you look at this wrinkle, right? Okay, so now you have Malik McDowell out there at the defensive end position, right? You now have Clowney standing up more like a, a you know, like he's blitzing as a linebacker. Malik Jackson is in in the shade, um, and then you got Miles Garrett standing up. So right here, I think that they've already signified that they're going to try to run some sort of game and, and try to confuse, uh, you, you know, the Patriots. But as you run the play, I, I'm not sure exactly where they were going with it because, you know, they eventually do bring them. But it's it's like there was no twist or text or anything uh, with it. It's just like they just lined them up and, and rushed them. So this play would have been open again. Uh, Miles Garrett on that play as a defensive end, what I always say is if you are unblocked at this point and you know it's a screen, right, instead of running in the backfield, you know what I'm saying, and trying to, um, well, I think you know. He's, he's the reason this, he swipes it. If he stops, if, if, he sees, if he sees the quarterback, if he just stops and gathers himself. Good. You know that he, he he eventually still gets his hand on the football My right here. Which is crazy. Yeah, this is this is where look, like Miles didn't do the right thing, but he's Miles Garrett, right? Like <laughs> he just look, he's out of position. He, this is a freaky play. And he oh did, my goodness, he still gets the football. He still gets there, right? Usually, what you would tell your defensive end is just get there and break down, right? But Miles Garrett is fooled on the play. He runs in the backfield. And he's still able to get his hands up because of his crazy wingspan. Like, come on, man. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous right there, man. Once again, in the middle. Oh, my God. Man. I don't know what Malik Jackson was doing. He got tossed inside, too. Malik looks good. Malik Jackson, you, you know, these Malik. guys are consistently using your momentum and throwing you guys upfield, man. It has to be better awareness than that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And his backup don't look because his backup is Jordan Elliott. That, yeah. That's the problem right there. Yeah. He ain't got nobody playing the other tech, right? <laughs> like, nobody. So, so great play, by, great play by a good player. I think Miles Garrett he would get a plus on this on this just because he he got a knockdown on that. And anytime that you see, um, you know, them lined up in this and they got a one on one up here to the top of the screen, I expect Miles Garrett to do their thing. And, and for me, one of the issues that I got is why is the back blocking backside? You know, it's not like it, it was like a, a play action or anything, but that back should have just feel where Miles Garrett is. Why would you? Why would you feel backside? Like especially if you want to get the defensive ends hands down because you know he's the one who knocked the ball down and disrupted this play. I'm not sure he went the right way on that play. I think it was a play action. Cause he looks like he's trying to receive it. Like he looked like he's trying to act like he's a uh, one of the carriers, right? He, yeah, he kind of act like it. He act. Yeah, I guess that may be by design. I think they're trying they to fake. I think what they're trying to do is they're trying to because if you look, they have both of them uh, guards. Well, the tackle and the guard also flash out there like this is going to be another screen. So I think they're trying right. to make somebody. I think they're trying to make Delpit and uh, Harrison stick on their side of the field to open this up and score on it because it mm -hmm. looks like they're trying to fake that screen both ways. Well, they're lucky Miles Garrett knocked the ball down. They get off the field on, on this play, and that just goes to show you, um, you know, sometimes, you know, freak, freak athletes and your best players are just too athletic and they can help you out. Yeah, that's why Miles Garrett gets the big bucks. That's why he's worth every penny. That's why when you when people on Twitter talking about he ain't disruptive enough, you need to tell them they ridiculous. Come on, man. Miles Garrett, Stop. the most disruptive player in football Stop. right now. <laughs> Stop. This is my thing, man. This, this, this is the thing that's infuriating, man. You know, we do all this talking, and, and I'll talk. I'll talk with anybody to a certain extent, but I, 
but when you start getting to the point where you talk about, well, my, you know, I heard somebody say, well, Miles Garrett really didn't do that much. I mean, he had the one sack. I'm like, bro, what are you, what are you talking about? He only like, got 13 in 10 games. Like, what are you, what are you talking about? People that just say that I'm, I'm asking, like Jay Z said, man, uh, do you guys listen to music or do you just skim through it? Like, are you really watching these games? Or are you skimming through looking for your best player? Miles Garrett by Miles far. Miles Garrett gets this. Look, he is planting to commit the other way. And he still gets a hand on the rock. Come on, man. Stop playing. Stop the he game. He could have intercepted it. If he broke down, he could have completely if, intercepted if, this. Yeah, if he didn't get fooled, that's a pick six. That's it. He's not catching They're not catching him. They're not. It, 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 he All he had to, and especially when, when because the tackle didn't do a good job of selling run enough. So right here, I'm reading definite light. This is too light. One, two, plant. If he's planting and breaking down, he, he catches that in stride. He's going to the house. I but, you know, we, we, it's Miles Garrett. We can't hate too much because he gets him off the field. That's just, you know, being be, be, being the best athlete. That's just all that is. Miles Garrett, man. Miles Garrett. Even when you ain't looking to appreciate Miles Garrett, you find something to appreciate Miles Garrett with. Damn. You always, always do. I thought um, I thought Mac just flicked it off his finger. I didn't think he anybody did anything. Now Miles, Miles got the deflection. There it is. That's so you got that deflection. And By you the got way, the why is Miles Garrett the only one putting his arms up? Other defensive tackles and Malik McDowell. Malik McDowell and Miles Garrett, the only two putting their arms up consistently. What and makes you, you think you can do something that those two aren't if you on this team? I have yeah. no idea what makes you think. That sometimes Clowney, I'll give Clowney some credit. He does put his arms up as well. But if those three dudes are putting their arms up consistently, why aren't you? There's no excuse. Like put your hands up. Put your hands Miles up. Don't even need to put his hands up. He's so damn big. We look, look at, at him. him. We, we, Mac we, Jones 6'3. <laughs> but he, like we said, if they if if he catches that. <laughs> yeah, ain't nobody. Mac Jones ain't tackling that. Like if he if 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 that wasn't a, a behind the Miles Garrett did knock that down, they would have scored on that play too, almost. Yeah, that could have been a touchdown either way. You yeah. end up being a third down stop, first one of the game. Uh too bad you're down 24 after that. Yeah. You know, all right. Way, hey, by the way, way, by the way, small things like we talked about, all, all film session, right? It's Miles not catches huge, that, goes the other way. What's the score of that game? 14-21. You, you All right the time, that's a different ball game, right? Changes right the whole in. outlook. Changes the whole outlook. But instead, it goes 24 to 7. That's a blowout. It's raps at that yeah, point, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I you got to give up the controller if that's Madden. You, oh, oh, 21 nothing blowout. Yeah, yeah. You got to give up the 21 sticks. to the sticks up. We ain't got time for you to begin better on our time. Like, yeah, yeah, man, we got to go to, to, back, back we got to the things to do. We got we to gotta concede defeat yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm talking about, but I get the ball back at halftime, though. Like nah, I might no 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 you know what it's you know what the 21 rule is so small stuff Miles Garrett great to stop that play because that saved the touchdown legitimately but what could have been even greater if he's just a half second I know it's hard to ask Miles to be even better he he has like topping so many stats right now but if he's even better on that play that brings the Browns back into it and then all of a sudden nobody's saying nothing about Miles Garrett and Miles Garrett's gonna win defensive player of the year. Games, you know, games. That, that's that's the, the extra gear. It is is good. Miles Garrett is on track to break the sack record, to have a a season high, a career high number in sacks by week eleven. And there's still another gear that he can turn on. Yeah, it's it's some stuff that I think he can even that get is, to. I've never seen a player like that in in, in brown and orange. I've never no, seen. Nah, nah, no, he no still not still has close. another gear. Like not people are still watching Miles Garrett. Like he could be better. Not even, not even close. It ain't even close on that man. That's not even close. That's wild. How good Miles Garrett? I think this might be the play right here where I kept rewinding that. I think DJ being clowny gets beat. He gets beat on the reverse on this play. I didn't see the game like three times. It might be this. This. Yep. This is the one. Mm -hmm. Yep, I knew he, it. You can tell Jay Davion is mad about it. Look at his body language at the end. Yep. Ah, nah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's that, true. That's that poo poo face. Yeah, I'm gonna be that about that one, dog. Let's now, you, 
He's already in a wide technique, right? Mm -hmm. He's already on the hash. Nobody blocked you. Why are you no crashing in? Why are you? That's that. That's it a lack the of guard point. off guard because the guards like I got to pick him up, right? Right. It's free run. All right, let's go, baby. <laughs> Look, the guard looks back. Like, all right, well, I'm not gonna block you. He can't believe what just happened. You ain't going. You just not going. Break. Look, oh, at right, well, we'll Look at his helmet. The guard is like coming there. Okay, I got to block Clowny. I got to block Clowny. No, he just missed me, and he's looking back like, did that just happen? Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Run, 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 run. Man, this is this is nerve wracking on on two fronts. It's because they didn't even have to. They didn't even have to make a play. You made it for them. And so right here, you already know you got leverage. Look how the Browns are lined up inside. So right here, when you run up field, no one blocks you. Why are you not aware and having good eye discipline? Why are you not having good eye discipline? And when you, you ain't been winning all game, too. You know what I mean? It ain't like you had like, it ain't like Miles when he had like four and a half in Chicago where you're like, okay, I can see if he just felt like he, he was just getting through on the screen like that. The, the, the pooler will tell you where the ball is going. They bring the backside receiver to come kick you out as a defensive end. When you hear right one, two, right? One breakdown. He should be broken down right now. Once he's breaking down, he already knows that if this is a bootleg, why are you turning your back? If that was a bootleg, you have quarterback and contain. Also, look how long it takes him to recognize that somebody's trying to cross his face. The, the end is, you know, the tight end is already coming to block you. You're supposed to be seeing this and getting upfield to the back's upfield shoulder. But you fell asleep at the wheel. They didn't even have to block you, man. He was able to then let you go and get to the next level and pick up somebody else. That I mean, that you, that can't happen, man. That, that that can't happen. And if you're going to do that. Actually, to Clowney's side, because that's what he's supposed to not let happen, right? That's why he's here for, for these kind of stuff, this kind of stuff, right? He, this is what he's supposed to be really good at, you know? And he's had a good year so far. This is just one bad play. But, and, you know. And, and like we said. And, and what G. Bush is saying is exactly what Miles does here, right? He wants him to break down. What Miles does, he gets here. He's blocked. Breaks down. He stopped so he can read the play and then and decide what he's going to yes. go after. He Clowney, never, by the time Miles is reading the play, Clowney's already decided he knows the play. Leveraged. He's already he leveraged. Knows. He knew he was messed up. And this is why, as a defensive end and playing defensive end in college, he knew he was done right here. Yeah, this is because, never the stance you want to be in. No. Nah, because <laughs> there's no getting back. When, there is no strength in this stance. You're <laughs> done. Right? If, if that back has got the ball running like this and your feet are stopped, he was supposed to be. He, he he took three steps inside. He knew he was done. He's already he's already flanked him. You're outflanked immediately. Um, it just he's takes. Ooh, yep, done, done, dada, done, dada. Tight end's gonna move up and go get another back. And Taki Taki, nice hustle. Yeah, nice hustle. Get off a block. <laughs> nice hustle. Get off a block. Yeah, you know, another another thing. Just one, it only takes one person. It only takes one person, right? You know, obviously, I, I'll always have my antenna up. Any Anytime I was a defensive end and I'm playing towards the field, I'm looking for anything coming back my way because I understand that, they, that, that the field is to my, to my, you know, to the strong side where I'm, I'm placed. So for me, I'm looking for any reverses coming back. I'm looking for reverse pass. I'm looking for the bootleg or the naked boot, right? I'm looking for the screen that way. All those things are supposed to be in your mind when you're looking at this, right? And, and also, it, it, it isn't as if they're, they're going to be really throwing the ball out of this. I mean, they got two tight ends in the game, and it's under center. It's not like you, you have some other opportunity or other reason that you can get fooled. It looks hard run. Yeah, no, no. Watch John Johnson on his play. Is he late? No, oh, yeah, he's, he's uh, trying to make an angle. Yeah, he's trying. To... I don't. That looks. That's still kind of poor to me. Um, 
it is I mean, if... ultra conservative at that point, but again, the score is what the score is. Yeah, it might have been a bit. So I don't know. I don't know if you want to be at that point of conservativity. Uh, yeah. Maybe you should have just been more aggressive and shot a gap. I, but, I mean, because because right here, not? right here, he's just kind of patty caking with him. Why would you break down? You're supposed to run through that tight end, take him and run him directly back into the ball carrier. And hope Taki Taki can clean up yeah. on the back end, right? You blow him up. You ain't going to be out there. That's look like a receiver blocking you. You need to blow him up with that. Man. Not All right. Guy. So this is a formation that we've been um, waiting to see with Kareem Hunt and Nick Chubb that we just never get. The two or running back. Just never seems to work out or come to fruition. Maybe they can cut, copy and paste this formation from the Patriots and other teams who utilize no-name gangsters that we don't know. <laughs> uh, G, what do you see here on the alignment for the Browns defense? Um, right, right now, if if I'm thinking of something on the alignment down here, the force player at the bottom of your screen where Clowney is is going to be a corner, right? So it looks like because there's a tight end down there, yeah, he's going to be a force player. And uh, you look at Jadavian Clowney; he's at a, what we call an inside shoulder six eye on this in, on this formation. So, given where we see everything up, the Browns have a lot of people um, in the line of scrimmage right here. I think they got John Johnson walked out over the slot receiver. And so, on this play, you ha you you can respect a couple things. You can respect the run game on this because you can run on this. You can respect the screen game on this because you can definitely do this. But one thing that you look at is if they're in anything – one of the targets that you like to do is isolating your tight end down here on a cornerback. So uh, if you can throw a corner or a flag route uh, to the bottom of the screen, it's very hard to do, especially if they're in man-to-man -man coverage. You put it uh, in the right area. Um, and they got a lot of options to themselves, too. They got a lot of stuff because it looks like you have a one-on-one -on -one at the top of the field as well. So I like this formation because you can run past. You can do a lot of different things. And, and it makes the defense be honest with what they're running. All right, so Brown's got eight people in the box right now. Mm hmm So this is a run-heavy uh, set, well, defensively. And they got, the, if you're a Patriots, one, two, three, four, five receivers, well, five eligible receivers, right? So, so it's a, it could be a six-man protection, but it's probably mm -hmm. like a chip. Uh, and Browns have, what, three linebackers? So JOK, one, two, three linebackers, mm -hmm. two safeties, two corners. So you got the corner matched up with the tight end, I'm guessing, right? That's that's yeah. gotta be the only way. So you got JLK, he's probably on this dude, because it's probably man. And then you would assume what well, is Malcolm Smith, and he's gonna have to take care of that linebacker. So yep. this leaves Taki Taki. From what we can assume, he probably should have to slot. <laughs> or, or, or right, <laughs> or, or or yeah, he if he has him, why does he have the slot? <laughs> I don't know <laughs> why this is not flipped, right? Because if somebody's gonna have to be on the slot, JOK should have the slot. He can handle that. Taki, Malcolm Smith can handle the slot. Facts. Taki Taki. One thing we know he can't do. Is ha he can do a lot of things well. Taki Taki's a really nice utility linebacker, right? Yes, he is. He's not be your main pilot. starter, but he could get you on third down on the running downs. He's good. He's real good on running downs. But this is not where you want him, right? So Taki Taki on the slot. If he is on the slot, I don't know what the responsibilities are. It looks like a mess on here. And then, and my biggest fear <laughs> is that on this third down play where the sticks here. Is that John Johnson is responsible for this guy? Yeah, the game John Johnson been having. That's not what I want, right? So either one of these two guys are responsible for slot. That's what I saw. I was like, man, slot open. Who's responsible? Is either this linebacker Taki Taki or John Johnson? I don't feel great about either at all. Okay, um, I feel fine about this. This is like overkill because I don't think this dude's gonna get open on JLK. This is overkill. So, you know, th th maybe some adjustments here could, could help you out here. But let's see what happens on this play. Just from the alignment, we, we can see some trouble already from where the Browns are and what the Patriots are about to do. Mm. And ain't nobody have the damn slot. <laughs> 
didn't nobody have the damn slot. Look at this. Look at this. So we know two people. Like, I, I'm not wrong in this, right, G. Bush? Mm -hmm. uh, correct me if I am. One of these two should have this. If this is what we have, because he comes in with the tight end. So we yep. know Denzel has the tight end. Yep. JLK. It looks like he's actually coming to the ball. So maybe JLK has him, and this is like one of those. Right. Yeah. Because, because they run play action to kind of hold one of the linebackers. And then when they run the play action, they're able to get the linebackers to give them a little space, and then they go to the to the wide receiver quick screen. So you may be right the the the, the, um, the linebacker in the boundary may actually have that that running back that's at to the to the top of the um, to the top of the formation. Yeah, because look, JOK is crashing hard downhill. He knows where he's supposed. To, well, he knows where he thinks he's supposed to be. I don't know if that's where he's supposed to be, but he's going to the point of attack. Right? He sees the hand. He sees the match point. He's going down there. That tells me that that's his responsibility. Mm -hmm. Because if that wasn't his responsibility, insanely irresponsible for him to do. Yeah. Uh, especially if this is your man. So either way, this dude's covered because this guy's blocking, and, and that's Denzel Ward on the running back. That's fine, right? Uh, but there is not a single, single thing one or two are doing about – my guy right here. I, I don't even think they got out of their stance. I don't I don't think they got out of their stance. Look at if that's Malcolm, if no, that's Taki Taki. Watch him and, and John Johnson. They don't never they don't move. They never get out of the stance, do they? They don't they just don't nobody ever move. Look, John Johnson's flat footed right now. The, the, He's standing straight up. And then look. Yeah. So they make the run fake. And look, Taki Taki slides in. So I don't know if he's supposed to have the slot. No, 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 no. Taki Taki's supposed to have the slot. Because this look, John Johnson's body language is panicking at this point, right? Look, look, look at Taki Taki. And again, we're guessing because we don't have the actual plays. But look, he, the second he sees Taki Taki go inside, John Johnson goes, Oh my God. And, and so oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> and so here, here's here's yep, another yep. thing. Well, here's a, here's another thing that I, I it, it's kind of hold on, one second, real quick. Does John Johnson just fall asleep on this play? Th that's I, what I, I was just going to say. I'm watching. I'm watching Ronnie. Right, Ronnie's taking over top. Yeah, bro. He, he he's he takes a false step and he doesn't get downhill. To be honest with you, he's not even blocked on this play. John Johnson is not blocked. Or if he would have been out of his out of his his stance and being ready to go, as soon as he he sees the quarterback doesn't take a step and turns his arms to the sideline, he's supposed to be going right now. He's supposed to be hitting it right now, and when he hits it, right, and then he, he, he overran the play. He panicked. I feel like he. I, I think he got caught sleeping. This is what happens in blowouts. Your mind ain't even on the game no more. This this is this is a caught sleeping play. This is this is this is I fell asleep on the football field. Like, oh, 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 let me because what happens when you get caught sleeping, right? You try your best to make it look like you didn't, so you end up over pursuing, and then he gets cleaned up. He <laughs> gets punished. Oh my god. He got clean. What, I want to see this on the back end. I want to see this from the end zone view. Because to be truthful, Taki Taki lets two guys cross his face, and he's late to make a reaction to the football. Yeah, he I don't know who to play. blame on this one more. Yeah, I don't know what the hell he, happened. I mean, I mean, when, when you see the quarterback turn, watch. He's throwing. Like, right now, when you look at it, he's throwing right now. Why is Taki Taki still floating inside? And what is he floating inside to? Two. Like, there's no ball carrier. They sent both of these dudes out to the other side of the field, right? So, like, by the time he slides in, there's nothing he could do. Even if that play goes back, there's nothing he can do. Hey, this, see, this is some of the stuff you can go, hey, Joe Woods, what are you doing? And honestly, it's not even as much as I thought. About I mean, so you, go back, you go back and look. But this is over there. there. Some of it is, you know, in on this play, I would have liked 
him to get down. And Miles Garrett, Garrett does a, good, a real good job on this play. Remember before we said he just took too many steps upfield? He should have been breaking down. He does his picture perfect right here. He doesn't get upfield, breaks down, diagnosis, right? He knows exactly where it's at. He does a good job of retracing, getting back down, down the field. But what you ask, once again, is the physicality is, if you're John Johnson, you go blow up, make a pile right here. If you turn and you are the aggressor, right? If you turn and you're the aggressor, and I don't, I don't mind you cutting him. See, as a defensive back, you can take the legs out of a, of a, of a lineman. So that means get low, take his legs out. And if you can do that, look where Miles Garrett is pursuing backside. You make a pile there, Miles Garrett tackles this thing for a two to three yard gain. You but make that dude hesitate just for a half a second. Half a second. Miles is there. But you got T rolled. You got knocked in the first round, and, and it's even worse. And if Taki Taki doesn't voluntarily just slide all the way out the damn play. I mean, come on. Why are you that far downfield, man? It's just. Like, I get it. The slot's not his responsibility, but hold your hash. Like, Wait, I mean, you, yeah, <laughs> like, good gracious, man. Yeah, that, that that's what it's called. He, he, got, been, he got depleted too. My goodness, John. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna see that on the back end. That's gonna be hilarious. But yeah, this is exactly the technique that we were talking about. We wanted to see from these ends. Again, you go through the film, Miles Garrett don't really do much wrong ever. Uh, and even when he does, he can kind of get his way out of it. But that's what you want, okay. Because now Miles can be athletic, make a play. If somebody is there, you don't even got to make the play. Just you just got to do something. Make don't, nobody's there. Oh God, he got and you got. And he went up top on the line, and he has to go low. Throw yourself at his legs and use the block up. That's what we call sacrificial lamb. You just got to sacrifice yourself. It, it, DBs and safeties, you're not going to win that matchup. You're walking up to an offensive lineman trying to go high. You can get yourself hurt. What you need to do is you need to be going down low, taking the legs out of those blockers and making a pile right there. It, because 76 on the ground is, is impeding, you know, the movement. It's impeding uh, the, the path of the receiver. And you could just take him out. That leaves an opportunity for your people to pursue and get back to the football and make a play. Yeah, I'm going to just call this John Johnson, and I don't know what Taki Taki was doing either, but I'm pretty sure John Johnson was either caught by surprise at what Taki Taki did or just kind of had that, you know, daydream for a half a second too long yep. and got caught slipping because that body energy says, uh-oh. Ooh. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it, it, it does not seem like he is controlled and trying to make something happen. It seems like he is freaking out and trying to do something real quick. Bad execution, man. Bad execution. Let's see this on the back end, though. I want to see that pancake because that is nasty. It was a gnarly one. Oh, my it. goodness. Watch oh 42. My. Wait, wait, wait. Who, 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 was that Malik Jackson? That got this? 60 don't even be trying on these, and they just be falling for them. Yep, 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 yep. And think about it. No power in this position, huh, G. Bush? He looked like his knee's about to blow out. At zero. Zip zero. Oh, my God. And he catches this. And Taki Taki, yeah, this is bad. Watch this, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, <laughs> Lord. Man, look, look. On top, just dominant. Just unnecessary. Um, unnecessary roughness. Throw a flag on the plate. He's bro. getting choked out missionary right now. This yeah, is that, that's, what, um, that's what uh, Marlon Humphrey did to Odell just, a couple years ago. Remember that one? You can't have no grown man face to face with you on the ground when he choked him. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what Marlon Humphrey did to Odell. Remember that? <laughs> yeah, this, this is disrespectful. Oh. Come up, on, man. John Johnson. Come on, bro. <laughs> Wait, one more time, man. One more. That time. is a missionary pancake. I've never seen one of those in a minute. This is all bad for John Johnson. Like this Just tape is pretty over, bad for dude. John Johnson, but this play. <laughs> Boy, did he have a bad day, and wasn't this the exclamation? Oh, right? oh, oh my yeah. God. Good gracious. Here you, you go. Late to the again. spot. You trying to hustle to get back in there to make up for your mistake, and you feel like you in position, but uh-oh, brick wall. You're and dead. you got this big, nasty offensive lineman, and his gloves and his hands stink. He just coming off out there. And he, you know, he's just gonna put, I don't he, think John knew that that lineman was coming. I thought he. I think he thought, hey, man, Miles is coming. Look, he's like, Miles about to come. I'm about to. 
force him back towards. He's supposed Miles. to be getting down. He's supposed to be getting low like the Yin Yang twins, and, and taking that man's knees out. And if yep. you take his knees out right there, basically it shortens the gap, and Miles Garrett can get there a little bit. But when this happens, good gracious, <laughs> that sound like with arms wide open. That's a Creed song. <laughs> <laughs> like you just oh we that ain't oh goodness man you right man it went a lot of good pitch of the game right there right, it, we got it, one it, last play man we got one last play let's see what it is man and unfortunately john johnson's bad day continues last meaningful third down i know they gave up a bunch of third downs to brian hoyer but i'm not even gonna put us through that one i'm not yeah, i don't see that that, 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 that's devastating uh, I'll at least stick with the Mac Jones stuff. Now, 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 can we talk about this Cleveland Browns? You, you, you see how when they run five wide, there's actually receivers on the field, right? You see how there's a bag. Four receivers, one tight end, not Four two receivers. tight ends, a running back, and two wide receivers. Right. and not single per person. No. Right. Can, can you see how there's, there's actually skilled positions out there, not glorified tackles that can run 40-yard dashes fast? Yeah, look, look at this, man. This is something we haven't seen the Browns do in, like, forever. Look at that. Trips. Trips bunch left. When, 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 when have we ever seen – You know what? And you know what they did? They let the running back be the decoy instead of a wide receiver. Stop having to – thank you. Move that guy out to – and here's the thing. If the and Browns – Kevin, Kevin, you can still have your tight end standing up. That could be David. That could be David. Look at this. This is all you got to do. Jarvis inside. Okay. The Rashard to run some little route to get somebody out the way because J Rashard ain't getting the ball. Uh, and then you can have Donovan Peoples Jones, you know. Maybe he go underneath. You know what I mean? Maybe he's got a little five. Underneath. I still don't even like the tight end to be in the game right here. For what? If I'm going to go, like, I don't need oh, to man. have you in the field. Back in the day when we did have Elder Beckham Jr., you could have him and Jarvis, DPG, uh, 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 Demetric Felton. You can have Schwartz, all of them. Hollywood, man, I've never seen a team <clears throat> systematically take their most athletic people out of the game in order to fool somebody. Who are you fooling? Forget the fool and just execute. That's it. All right. But. The Patriots do have some ideas here, right? That's why they have their stand-up tight end in. Now, that's normally Giannu Smith, who might as well be a wide receiver, yes. right? So this is a play designed for Giannu Smith um, to win off the line of scrimmage. This is not Giannu Smith um, because he didn't play this guy. I don't even know who this guy's name. Now, is it Hunter Henry? Was it might have been. He was, Hunter Henry was killing us. He's a good one. He's a good one, though. He was killing us. Henry. Yeah, he's from Arkansas. He was like a former yeah. second or third round pick. Yeah. Something. Yeah, so what well, with the idea, <clears throat> what the ideal of this play is, is like when you want to get this trips ideal right here, you're not really going to throw to him. He's just going to run around out the way. Uh, but you want to get all this, all this traffic over here, make him think you're trying to go underneath or something, get a quick little, you know, little rub route or pick a little rub or something like that, which you can have as an option still, or you can have like a little crosser and then kind of feed in and try to cause some confusion here between the three because that works too. But also what you do is you clear the field. Get a one-on-one -on -one with your best tight end on the safety. Or a linebacker. Yep. You take that if you Mac Jones. You see what happens there. And you let your man win. This is good quarterbacking by Mac Jones. Recognizing the situation. Letting his man win. And just getting him the ball. And, you know, we're going to talk about John Johnson on this play. He got cooked. <laughs> He was Adrian Broner. You know that meme of Adrian Broner? Like, I ain't going to lie. I'm getting cooked right now. That was him this whole game. One-on-one. -on -one. Let's cooked. see what he got. Oh, boy, got cooked. Oh, boy. Boy, got oh, cooked. This, this is... By the way, he ain't the only one that got cooked. <laughs> Gee, man, he Christmas. I mean, he got hit with like a – a basketball the slowest move. double inside hooks I've ever I, seen. In my have, life. have you ever seen a Euro step on the goal line before? That boy traveled. Like, <laughs> he Euro stepped on you, bro. Like, like skip to my Lou. John Johnson act, tried to act like he was going to blitz bluff. You got one-on-one -on -one coverage. And watch him hit him with this, this up-tap two-step. 
Bye. Talk to you later, homeboy. Home skillet. And by the way, if that wasn't open, look at uh, Jacoby Meyer sneaking in that zone. Freelancing, I guess. He opened it. And I'm asking myself, what, what is what is Rod, Rodney Harrison doing? He, he's, he lost in the sauce. Like, you know, it looks like they have those guys in man-to-man coverage down there, three for three. And I think they're passing guys off a little bit, right? Yeah, uh, so it, it, it looks it, like Anthony tries to – he tries to cut off that little out, right? He does it successfully. Troy Hill, I don't know if Troy was supposed to pick up Jacoby, but somebody should have. I mean, or and maybe – That's Denzel Ward at the bottom of your screen on a running back. You're not worried about that route at all if you're the Browns, no. right? So no. that's that's a non-factor. That's why, that's why he's set on that hash because you don't even care about that. Um, so there's two miscommunications here. Troy Hill out here defending this out the same as Anthony Walker. So one of those dudes got to get he, off that out. They would have scored that anyway on that. Right? Huh? They would have scored anyway on that because there's a miscommunication. The bust down at the bottom of the screen too. Yeah. He could have threw the ball to the slant. Yeah. The, the Kobe Meyer flashes <laughs> open right here yeah. um, because they both, both Troy Hill and Anthony Walker go hard at this out which frees up Jacoby Myers right here, and nobody takes that zone. Ronnie Harrison's not in position to take that zone. Uh, what Ronnie should have been doing was helping this man over top, right? Because we got enough people inside to worry about all that nonsense. We got Greg out here. He's he's doing his job. Greg's doing his job. Congratulations. Um, but Ronnie, you know, maybe get over there. You see the one-on-one. You see your boy in trouble. You know your boy can't <laughs> cover tight ends. You've been watching the practice. He's looking right at it. Look where his helmet is. He there. sees it. He sees it. Get over there and hope that by the time you do, you can put your shoulder in somebody's chest to stop a touchdown. But again, to be fair, this is the kind of football you get when you down by 40 something points and you done yeah. gave up 45 yeah. for the answer. Yeah. Yeah. The end of the game here. So this and, is what and, and, you kind of get at the end of the game. So it's not and, like they're playing their best football at this point at all. And, and here's the thing with this too, man. It, it's like you know, sometimes Joe Woods irritates me with not bringing people, but like I always tell people, it ain't about a person. It's about what the film says, man. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a person that's gonna bash Joe Woods and say everything is his fault. If I can go in here and take a take a look at this film and break it down, like I said, I'm unbiased to the point where I don't care. The only thing I'm married to is the film. I don't care about your, the names on the back of the jersey, whoever it is, I care about your production. And from this game, the narrative is the defense sucked, the defense sucked, and Joe Woods didn't have them together. Well, no, nah, like, it, it it wasn't so much that Joe Woods was really – and now, don't get me wrong, there's some times where he could – I thought he could have been more aggressive, and I think I just would be a more overall aggressive person to start with every single time. But when you break down some of these plays, you know, these are the right calls to make. Um, I'm not sure exactly what, what this call was because Ronnie Harrison is really flowing over the top. And you also see uh, Malcolm Smith, they kicked the middle. Like, yeah, it, it looks to the trips. They fell for the Yeah. Trip. He think, and, 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 and watch Mac Jones. Look at this. This is why. Yeah, I discipline. Oh, yeah. Good, good point. Look at that. Look at his eyes. He, he always knew he was coming back to Hunter Henry. His first two steps was let me hold Malcolm Smith. Hold it, hold it. Boom. Right back. Held him like he held see, 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 G. Bush. That's the stuff Baker was doing last year. He ain't doing this shit. He ain't doing it. He doing it. Crazy because Baker. He held this. He if you go back and watch that 2020 Cincinnati tape, this is all Baker did to Jesse Bates, and this is why we got so excited about Baker Mayfield because he was out here doing this stuff. Because we need that Baker back. Man, look at how you just that's playmaking right there. He knew good and well. He was never. Go, and and it's way, a good design. We were running, wondering why didn't Ronnie Harrison get over there? He got fooled too. He got fooled. He, he's reading his eyes, and he held the safety and the middle linebacker, which gave him this seam throw. And watch out! And I believe, watch how he sells this. Hunter Henry does a good job of selling the outside route too, and he gets he back inside. Like a, it almost looked like he was selling, like he was about to block, <laughs> like like <laughs> the way yeah. he's shuffling. 
Man, he out here Harlem shaking on you. Hey, because look, he goes out and he stays super wide as if he's blocking, but he's going forward. He, and then he, he kind of stops that, and he, breaks down. He sells here. it right. He sells it right here. He's jabbing. Boom. Look at him act like he's going outside. And then next step. Oh, I got you. Lean with it. Rock with it. You see it. Look at him. Ooh, that's a crossover. I, turn around, and the ball is gonna be in the air. You gonna. You don't even gotta look. I'm gonna hit you right now. Boy, they just cooked us on that too, one. Huh? Too late. Too hey, late. See, there were some of these where the coaching got cooked by just Bill Belichick. This is one where the players got cooked. That's a good job of, of holding yeah. the safety with you. And and, and and by the Ooh. way, can we just admire the bend? You know what? I'm starting to become a Mac Jones fan. I know I wasn't like, hey, trade up for Mac Jones, but man, hey, you know, let me give Mac Jones his love. Because this is this was impressive. What I have yeah. seen of Mac Jones on this tape was very impressive. Yep. And that that's the rookie really doing good. that. That's a and this is what that's we talk rookie. about. This is what we talk about. Pre like you can your 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 offensive coordinator is telling you, like, listen, guys, um, the primary target on this play is Hunter Henry. If we go out in five wide, we want to isolate him on a, a uh safety. Now, what you want to be doing is you want to sell it. That you're looking at that trip side, hold them there, and then we're gonna come right back with the with the with the shot play right in, in the seam. He's wide open and he gets the ball to him quickly. Malcolm Smith and, and, and Ronnie uh Harrison had no chance on this. That's why that we was wondering why they pulled way over there. Look how far they over in this touchdown. He ball's already gone. By the way, look at our boy here. I know it didn't matter. Watch Jordan and Elliott on this play. Now we got Malik McDowell holding down the double team on the other side. Look at Jordan Elliott. Just setting picks. Man, just <laughs> look how and look, Miles Garrett almost got home on a three-step, man. Look at this dude's bend. Look at the bend right here. Look oh. at that bend. Look at that. How many, bend. how many steps does he get before he has to turn that tackle? He get one, two, turn. He has to turn <laughs> at two steps, bro. That's crazy. His bend, his his bend is is world class, man. You can tell the difference. Look how stiff Clowney is. Clowney's just gonna run down the middle of his chest. That's his his. He's a bull rusher, right? Like, right, bro, how do you always end up in my lane, Jordan? <laughs> you didn't even get pushed there. You put yourself there. Yeah, that's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. Or no, um, I don't think that one working out, man. That, that's in ball. I right hate on. to say it, but it don't. By the way, one thing is working out. Malik McDowell in the weight room, boy, he pushed them back. Look he's a monster. Team. Oh he, my goodness, he's a monster, <laughs> man. He's a monster. He's oh, and just man. think when he get an opportunity to finally work on his game and get refined. He's a rookie, right? Well, he's technically kind of a rookie, but he's uh, not. he's a rookie. Like when he gets an opportunity to have an offseason and work on his game. He's going to be a monster. He's going to be extra, extra legit, man. I'm going to tell you that right now. Tell you that right now. If you want to know the difference between this is this is this is as clear as we can make it. This dude is good, a good young player. This dude is he's not great right now. He needs a lot of a lot more time in the oven. This dude, he's ready to play right now. He's strong enough. He's smart enough. He's long enough, athletic enough. And you can tell when you just watch him. Because look how they handle these situations. He's in the tougher situation, and he gets much more penetration than Jordan Elliott does on that one-on-one. -on -one. Now that's Shaq Mason. If they field. can get, if they can get another defensive tackle, another dynamic tackle, and they would be. Draft, they'd be good. They would be. Whew, they would. That was Aaron Donald next. I'm, I'm not even gonna play like that. Look, look see, look at you. <laughs> stop, stop this. Stop greedy. Come on. Why would you? <laughs> it looks like you playing around. I mean, you know they could have drafted uh TJ Watt in 2018 two times. They could have got TJ Watt, put J V R Claudio on the inside. They had they could have drafted Deshaun Watson. They could have drafted they could have drafted yeah. Julio Jones. Um nah, we got Jordan Elliott in mean, here getting cooked. Getting cooked. Well, you know, you know, I tell you what, and, and here's the thing. Um as we Let's wrap get the hands up, right? It, 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 it's it's no, nah, he's not. He got a lot of work to do, man. He might not be on the roster next year, bro. He should keep playing around. You know, and we like we said before, you know, before we wrap this up, 
it's just a it's just a matter of plays. It's a, it's a little bit of inches there and the inches there that make the difference between being a great team or being a good team or average team or a terrible team. Because you know what you can do, and one of the things that happens is you know still small little details, man. You know this this play if he doesn't look off the backside, you know safety and hold them there. You know this is a contested throw because that that look he look how far Malcolm Smith jumps on that. Look he jumps three, four yards just by looking, you know, just by Mac Jones holding that stare to the, to the uh, you know, trip side of the field. Look how much air and space it gives you, right? They're jumping over. That is right here. That's a wide open. Yeah, Mac Jones look like a franchise quarterback. It, it, that's wide open, man. And it's oh just, it, and those are the little things that other teams are doing that we aren't doing right now. We're not doing that. We don't have that level of execution. We don't have that level of precision. We don't have that right now, you know, so we're capable you know, of it. Yes, we've shown it before, but it's about a level of consistency. Right. And, and I think the Cleveland Browns got to realize that that <laughs> consistency is what they need. Not like, oh, well, we know you could It's time for you to show it. And, and these plays are, are plays that we need to be making against teams like, you know, the Lions. We need to be working on our game. We, You know, if we down, we need to be throwing the football. We need to be running our regular playbook because we need to be getting reps and getting better towards the playoffs if we plan on making to the playoffs anyway. Yeah, and look, this is another thing. They held the ball more than two and a half seconds all game. Why is Jordan Elliott trying to get around and do this long-ass move on Shaq Mason? What does he think he's going to accomplish here? Because the ball's going to be out by the time he finishes this move. He gets to, like, his third step. The ball is about to be out, bro. And also, you got some money on your other side. This is one of them. You just go up, try to hold your ground, and then get your hands up. That's it. It's a three. You step. Hold the passing lane, right? Like that. Sometimes it's sometimes it's what you got to do is occupy a passing lane. You see, Malik McDowell is not trying to go left or right. He is trying to go upfield to occupy that passing lane. Yep. Because and he almost <laughs> and look, they held they hold him so he can't get his arms up. But that's what he's trying to do. Yeah, you could actually see that. You can actually see that's where he's moving to try to get yeah. his hands up. He's trying to get his hands up to get in that passing lane. They hold his arm. He can't get it up there. Good play by the tackle. Cheating, but, you know, good play. Hey, he call hey, it. hey it ain't call it. You know, yeah. it, it ain't cheating. It is what it trying. is in the trenches. Right. But Jordan Elliott out here doing this. Why are you doing this? Is This this can't be what was schemed up. And he's too high, too, man. He's just up patty cake. Man. High. He's just bad technique. Yeah. Not not a strong position from his legs. Not really getting wide enough. Not Running really up. looking strong. Getting getting how you had three technique and you done widen to. And this is the things we're talking about, man. Right here, I keep saying it. If this is Lamar Jackson, if this is Patrick Mahomes, if this is That's Kyler Murray. Down. There are three touchdowns on this play because right. Lamar will do that same exact thing. He's gonna hold the he's gonna hold the line because everybody thinks he can't throw. He's gonna hold the linebacker like that, and instead of making this throw, he just might tuck it. He, like, yeah, he runs that like he has a two way go. This he is, tucks that and runs like there's no way he's tackling Lamar Jackson in this, and it's because Jordan Elliott is is getting washed and widened in the gap. And then yeah, he Jordan he, Elliott has made my no Lamar list. You cannot be on the field versus the Ravens. Look at that. You're getting washed. This is he can't. No. He's not even trying to get back side. He's not even trying to get back inside. Like I would, I would like if this is what you was trying to do, get back inside. Like you was trying to fake him and then you was gonna try to roll away. Yeah, he would have got washed. Like he would have got he would have got pancaked if he would have tried to roll back inside. But at least I can understand what try what you're trying to do here. And in reality, you at the goal line, bro. Just get, just get in his chest, right? This is the felt mode. Pee wee football coaches to the NFL. What what what's it saying? Get in his chest, right? Get, you get said in get in his chest for a reason because you get in his chest. What can you do if you get in his chest? You, you disengage can move and you can move right and you go up. Yep. That's all you need to do right now is get in his chest, hold your ground, and get up or down or left or right and just disrupt the passing lane. Make the quick throw. A little bit harder on him. But Malik's the only one trying to do it. Malik McDowell. Mm -mm, come on, man. We need to play better than that. By the way, hell of an effort by Malik McDowell late in this game, late as hell in this game, getting getting cooked, getting absolutely cooked by like 35 points, still putting up an A plus effort. Malik McDowell, you not part of the problem, man.
<laughs> yeah, you you <laughs> not you not. Right, you, we need to keep you on the squad, bro. Man, uh, yeah. I, I definitely agree with that. I think he's he's another guy that they they have to keep. No wonder they activated Tommy Togi. They trying to get they trying to get Jordan Elliott off the field. <laughs> I was wondering why did they do that? This game explained it all. They need to get 96 off the field. Facts, facts, facts. Boy, I was wondering why Sheldon Day was getting so many snaps. Nah, I know. Sheldon Day ain't doing this. Bro can't be on the field if he's doing this. You know, this this week. It's like the seventh play out of ten. That so I know if we broke down the whole game, it's even worse. This this can't, they have to, you know. You know, moving forward to this week, you know, obviously they can't, you know, we're not even going to talk about an L to the Lions, right? But yeah. they're going to have to come out here and work on their game. Tim Boyle. They got to work on their game. There's a lot of stuff they can clean up. Um, and the crazy part about it is it's, it's like not like it's not too far off, but some of the stuff they got to clean up, just some guys that are playing well and some guys that really ain't been playing that well. So, you know, you know, this week, no excuses, because if you lose this week, the whole the, all the wheels is falling off of this thing. Everybody it, is going it's back. To, it's a wrap, man. It's a wrap for, for this year if you lose this game. But we'll see what happens with them, man. It, it's been a pleasure breaking down this film. Almost two hours of film breaking two down. Hours. Man, if you're a hardcore football fan or somebody who just want to learn some football, I feel like we've provided some gems. As you can see, my timer is all exposed. So y'all know we did this late <laughs> in the morning. Uh, right. Gee, we gotta be on the radio pretty soon here. Yeah, we, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna be right back on the radio tomorrow, man, with, with all kind of other takes, man. But man, you know, make sure you guys go out there and support this type of content. Make sure you go over and subscribe over at Quincy's channel. Uh, make sure you subscribe at the barbershop. Um, these are gonna this two part series is gonna be really good. Show you some breakdown um, and, and show you what's really going on behind the scenes, besides just being over the top talk about what we think. We're trying to show you what we know. And um, you know, give us uh, give us an idea if there's any specific sp position groups that you guys want us to break down, whether it's defensive line, O line, receivers, or whatever. Those are things and options we can do too. So definitely appreciate you guys for for checking it out. And for GB, this is GBC. my man. You know what it is, man. GBQC. We'll catch y'all later. Peace.